I uh, have been exploring the, um, the idea of drawing from the spirit and sort of like a jazz musician in a, in a solo, an improvised solo. The reason that a good soloist is able to do a good solo and take your mind out is because of the countless thousands of hours of practice. Well, when I draw, very often I'm drawing and completing a drawing within a few moments. And the reason, because I'm totally free and confident that whatever I do is, is going to have some reson re resonance and there's a form that I've been able to develop which is what I regard as a noble form and a true form of people of color. The fact that they are universal power and I've done virtually, I've done actually thousands of drawings on this theme of showing the black man and the woman in a very free form but hopefully regal way and it has produced some very rewarding work for me and for my clients and, and patrons that they're able to know that they're part of a whole transformational approach that I've taken that is in some ways has transformed uh, our image, have restored our image from some of the negative and weak uh, depictions of who we are. So my, my drawings are power drawings, showing the power coming from the mind, the spirit. Dr. Rosalind Jeffries wrote a magnificent piece uh, on my approach many, many years ago in the International Review of African American Art before it went to Hampton under Dr. Samella Lewis's. And she really explored my whole approach to the whole cosmic origins of our people and explored the Orionic Principle, which is an invention that I created out of necessity in an attempt to explain and yeah, really explain what I was doing and what these images really meant in terms of us as a particular people, but to the world in general. And uh, slowly but surely, the art world is waking up to the fact that I've been able to create a unique genre. And then preach. So these exa are examples of the beauty of our women, our daughters, our wives, our sisters, in a way that speaks to their unique beauty and their unique dynamism. So the idea is to kind of give the eye something to play with, something to celebrate, something to explore. And to me, that is what the best art does. It, it allows the viewer to take ownership, to express themselves through the image that you create. And art should be an adventure in my view. This is a wild looking sister here, but hey, she's got the power. <laughs> she's got the power. <laughs> <laughs>